law enforcement officials in the United States, um, in the state of Georgia, are investigating threats against jurors who voted to indict the former President Donald Trump. It comes after the names and addresses of grand jury members were shared online. Earlier this week, Mr. Trump was indicted on 13 charges over his alleged attempts to overturn the state's 2020 presidential election results. Earlier, Politico's White House reporter, Daniel Lippmann, told us more about the allegations. Uh, Georgia is a kind of a unique state in that it allows names to be shared. Basically, it kind of requires in a grand, when a grand jury is indicting a person uh, for a crime, uh, they share the names of the grand jurors. And so other states shield them because they don't want uh, them to face threats from gangs or from uh, the criminal you know, allies uh, of someone who is indicted. But uh, Georgia is a state that says, hey, we need to have some transparency here. But in the case of a foreign president who has millions of uh, very hardcore supporters and a small portion of them sometimes uh, want to do violence against people against uh, Trump. Uh, this is a concern. And so these jurors hopefully have some security or are being protected in some way. Yeah, I mean, there was a recent case, wasn't there, of a woman who threatened to kill a judge involved in um, all of these cases as well. Yeah, and so that was uh, the judge handling another uh, of the uh, Trump cases, someone who was appointed by Barack Obama. And so, of course, uh, you know, no one really liked her on the Republican side. And so uh, most Americans are, you know, do not want to get in jail. They've seen what happened on January 6, where a thousand uh, of Trump supporters who stormed the Capitol have been arrested, uh, many of them sent to jail. Uh, they've had their names and reputations, uh, you know, uh, hurt, um, rightly so. Um, and although what's interesting is that if Trump gets reelected, then he has promised to really pardon a lot of those people who had rioted on January 6. Although that might be too late to, uh, you know, get people rehired who had uh, lost their jobs because they stormed the Capitol. Would all of this, I mean, for, for most people and such allegations, there would be a certain degree of damage done, reputational damage done. This doesn't seem to be the case when it comes to Donald Trump, even his court appearances. I mean, this is all now seen as part of his campaigning, positively, in fact. Yeah, and you don't see many of his Republican uh, critics uh, in his own primary uh, criticize him very often. And so they are talking about the weaponization of the Justice Department. They are saying uh, that the Justice Department should focus on real crime and not uh, this election stuff. And so uh, it makes it very hard for these candidates to also get any attention in the media and oxygen uh, to raise their name ID uh, because all the story is just Trump crimes, Trump uh, new charges, uh, you know, 90 plus felony charges he's facing now. Uh, and so uh, it for the next year, we're going to see all these trials. It's going to be very hard for these Republican candidates to break through. And Trump supporters view his charges as the establishment is going against our guy again. So we better support him. And that was uh, Daniel Littman there.